So today we're in the new Albion Fisheries Test Kitchen with Chef Karen Barnaby. Hi Karen. Hello. We are so excited <laughs> to be here with you today and I think that you're going to be cooking up a real treat for us. What What's going on? I'm going to be cooking mackerel with a preparation. It's, it's, it's halfway between a sauce and a vegetable that is called piperad and what it is, it's uh, peppers and onions and garlic that have been cooked very slowly in olive oil until they become me meltingly tender. Then I'm just going to toss it with some um, cherry tomatoes that are cut in half to sort of maintain like that freshness and bite and some fresh oregano and fresh basil. Fantastic. And serve okay. with the mackerel. Yep. I love that there are so few ingredients. Um, that makes it really accessible for lots of mm -hmm. people. And it's easy. Yep. Perfect. So, some olive oil. Actually, for this dish, you should use a lot of olive oil. I won't say some. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're really frying it up. <laughs> we, we are frying it, yes. Yeah. Because the olive oil becomes part of the sauce. Yeah. So mackerel is also found off uh, the BC coast yes. as well. And, and so mackerel season is in the summer, but you can find it year round, is that right? You can find it year round frozen. Yep. And most grocery stores you find carry it, or is it just specialty? I, I find it's easier to find it in a specialty store, okay. especially fish store. Yep. So sliced garlic. I'm just gonna crank this up a bit. And then turn it down once it starts to sizzle. So, so that's that. You just leave it there, turn it down to very low heat and until it gets really soft about half an hour, but we'll come back to that. So for the mackerel, we have the mackerel here. It's a nice big one. And I'm just going to score the flesh. I also find they benefit from a lot of salt. So I'm going to salt this really well. And leaving the skin on sort of acts like a little envelope, doesn't it? Yes, it it's, a, it's, a, it's a barrier. Yep. I love mackerel. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> oh, I just, I like touching it. I like salting it. I like cooking it and eating it. And I'm just looking, yep. going, how I love this fish. No, it just has and, such and a beautiful. And they're beautiful, too. I mean, yeah. they're gorgeous fish. Oh. I don't know if I should be going on about how much I love this fish. <laughs> a little bit of olive oil. And then we're going to pop this in the oven. Oh, that is. So there it is. Fun. Almost ready for its lovely sauce. Super. And how long did that take us? About 12 minutes. Okay. Yep. You can tear the leaves. If you want or chop them up in some fresh oregano you can also use dried oregano there's no shame in doing that so we're chopping it rather coarsely mm -hmm. because it looks good and now do you have to saute the herbs nope. as well no and the cut tomatoes i know it's going to need some salt the colors are I know. gorgeous. Yeah. It's like a garden in a pan. <laughs> I'm going to drizzle just a little bit of balsamic vinegar on the fish. And I'm using a, 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 an aged one. You can tell by the texture. It's very, mm -hmm. uh, very thick. I'm putting it on the fish because I don't want it to turn that brown because it's too pretty. <laughs> I see. and spoon it over the mackerel, like so. Doesn't that look great? It's absolutely stunning. 